Today I have a great recipe for pumpkin waffles that you're gonna wanna make if, for instance, you bought like one extra can of pumpkin at Thanksgiving for your pies and you don't know what to do with it. Make these pumpkin spice waffles. You wanna whisk together two cups of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of sugar, a teaspoon of ground ginger. It's got all the spices of gingerbread and or pumpkin pie, depending on how you look at it. A teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, quarter teaspoon. That's if it's freshly grated, so I'm gonna use about an eighth of a teaspoon of the pre-grated, because it's actually a little stronger. A pinch of clove. Those are your spices, very aromatic and fragrant. A teaspoon of baking powder, as well as half a teaspoon of baking soda. Those are your dry ingredients. I bet you have every single one of those ingredients in your cabinet right now. Well, you do if you're a baker. And if you're not, become a baker and go out and get all those spices. Set that aside for a sec, and then your wet ingredients. Three large eggs, they're cracked already with some pumpkin, the aforementioned pumpkin. This is a half a cup of pumpkin. You can use the canned, which I highly recommend. I think it's a fantastic product, as long as it's the pure pumpkin. But you can also roast and puree your own pumpkin if you'd like. Whisk the pumpkin into the eggs, and then add a stick of melted unsalted butter, cooled slightly, and one and three quarters cups of whole milk. I just recently got a waffle maker at home, which is crazy that I've never had one, but I'm not a huge, huge waffle for breakfast person just because I like to eat a savory breakfast, which I feel like I've told you before, but my kids really like waffles. So finally I was like, you know what? I should get a waffle maker. And I did, in fact, I got this same waffle maker I'm gonna use today. And it's really fun making waffles. Pour your wet ingredients into your dry. You're thinking, really, is it that fun? <laughs> it is, it is. It's very satisfying, let's put it that way. Whisk until the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients are fully combined, but not overly combined. So like pancake batter, if there are a few lumps, it's okay. It shouldn't be completely lumpy. You wanna have it relatively smooth and fully combined. That's it, that's your batter. I bet you could probably also make pancakes with this batter, but today I'm gonna make waffles. Here's my waffle iron. It's preheating. Give your waffle iron a spray. You can also brush it with butter, which is what I do at home because I don't have cooking spray at home. Make sure that your waffle iron is preheated and every waffle iron is different and takes a little bit different amount of batter. So you're going to have to play around just a little bit before you get sort of like the first pancake, right? Got to make one or two and hope for the best. All right, there we go. This one's very fancy. You sort of turn it when you put the batter in and then it cooks. This has a timer on it. Not all of them do. It should take about five to six minutes. My timer has not gone off, but I checked <laughs> and it's done. So I'm taking it out. You don't want to overcook it, but you definitely want to make sure that it's fully cooked, right? You don't want it to collapse. You take it out and then so that it releases a little bit of steam, just toss it between your hands a little bit like that. And that'll give you a crisper finish. You can keep a 200 or 250 oven going so that as you're cooking them, if you want to serve them all at once, you can keep them warm, which I do sometimes. Put some butter on, put a little syrup on because great fall flavor and maple syrup is delicious. And because these are pumpkin waffles, I like to garnish them with some toasted pumpkin seeds. Use pepitas, not the ones that have the shell on, but the ones that have been shelled and you can toast them a little bit. You don't have to, but I think it adds a nice little crunch. Oh, the things that you could do with these pumpkin waffles. You could eat one, just like I'm gonna do right now. Mmm, oh my gosh. These are heavenly fall delights. Give them a try.